watching my video and today you will not believe the drama the drama so the snowdens they just keep the drama coming it's just one thing after another with them and also we are gonna see how long i can make it in this video before i have to put my glasses on because i am blind um you guys saw me with glasses on for the first time last week i got two pairs for 80 dollars i got a different pair on today but we're gonna see how far we can make it okay so ashley posted on instagram and we're gonna check that out real quick um, and this is after, uh, they went to court and their restraining order or their case, the case was dissolved by the judge because Dimitri brought evidence to court that showed text between him and Crystalline, where she said she liked the choking during sex. So let's pull up this Instagram real quick. And then Vanessa clapped back. So girl, let's get shady. Let's get real back. shady. I missed posting for International Dance Day yesterday, but wanted to drop this throwback because as may, most of my day ones know, dance is a huge part of my life and one of my first fluent forms of expression as a child. Picture one is my Kuma Hula Hula teacher and very dear sister friend using her hula hips as a safe place for the babies to nap this past Wednesday in our day of court. And that's when they went to court, you know, when the case got thrown out, which I was just telling you guys about. At some point, I'll gather the strength to share that story. But for now, I'm simply grateful for friendship and true sisterhood. Both Kuma and my sister, as well as many of my loved ones and friends from afar, stood in the gap for me while my family... Let's scroll down. And also, you know... Um, Taylor got into dancing and she said it's because Ashley did, taught her, and it helps uh, Taylor with expressing things and just like when she's depressed, she says dancing is very healing for her. So she goes on to say, stood in the gap for me while my family faced her agriest attempts at defamation. The beautiful soul right here brought so much light to an otherwise heavy time and I'm deeply grateful for to her from once again show me the various way hula can save one's life picture two is a snippet of a dance cover i did for my one year hula anniversary of dancing with kumu the first pick is 10 days after my two year hula and okay blah 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 She says that I can support and rely on in both our brightest and darkest moments. Having that Ohana family energy present amongst our Hula school, I'm beyond blessed and so deeply grateful. So, Vanessa, clap back. Vanessa, clap back. Sorry, sorry. Sorry if you're wearing headphones. I'm kind of yelling. Maybe I should come down. Okay, so Vanessa, clap back, girl. And this is what she had to say. People have been waiting for Vanessa to speak out about this. And um, she posted like a little hint. You know, she is still in her NDA for uh, TLC, so she can't really say much. So she posted a picture of a purple heart on her hand, which that stands for survivors of DV. So that's just like a statement right there in itself, you know, trying to get around that NDA. And then she posted this uh, last night. Vanessa goes, enough. Stop lying to the world and yourselves. Get help. There's no shame in therapy. And that's Taylor right there. I am divine soul. And she's like, preach, girl. All kinds of people are asking Taylor and Vanessa to speak up, blah, blah, blah. But they're both under NDAs. But NDAs are, you can, if there's DV involved, you can speak on that. If you're breaking the law, you can speak on that without breaking that NDA. The NDA does not cover DV. So, and she posted the same people that did you wrong are telling a different version of the story and they're playing the victim. Shots fired. And she said, if you continually have problems with everyone you come across, more than likely the problem is you. I was watching season two last night and, uh, you know, I do think, you know, they've been trying to find a sister wife for over 10 years now and they have not been able to find anybody who's stuck because obviously... She, you know, Taylor like this, and Taylor's like, preach, girlfriend, so I don't think she's with the Snowdens no more. Chris and Malene left, and she's not with the Snowdens. Vanessa, you know, joined them and moved in, and she ended up moving out, and she was too scared to come back and get her stuff herself. She had to have her sister and her mom come back to get her stuff. 
And so if they've been trying for 10 years and they still can't find someone, do you guys think it's time for them to just give up? Or maybe Vanessa wanted them to get counseling because she said there's no shame in therapy and they refused to get counseling. And maybe that's why Vanessa left. As I watched the season last night, I did notice that it's like Ashley, Dimitri, it seems like no matter what sister wife comes in, it's the bond that Ashley and Dimitri, yes, they've had the longest bond, but it seems like Ashley is more focused on Dimitri instead of her relationship with her sister wives. And Taylor even said that if Ash or if Ashley could be a better sister wife, you know, she's just too focused on Dimitri. She said something in that context on Twitter. So, and Ashley or Taylor also said that Ashley's never had no female friends. So I think that's very telling. I mean, I've never had many female friends, but that's because some girls like to mess with girls' boyfriends, and I ain't poor that. But I still have a few girlfriends. So maybe Ashley doesn't have many girlfriends because she's just not that type. Like, maybe she's just, like, one of those mean girls, low-key, and she's just putting a front up for the camera. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. And do you guys think that um, – I passed the question on to you guys. Do you guys think that Dimitri and Ashley should just give up or maybe get some therapy or something before they continue to search? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But she also went on to tell, post more. Enabling. Removing the natural consequences of someone's behavior. I think that's her saying that Ashley is enabling Dimitri. And you got you know Taylor moved out because she wouldn't be like preach and she wouldn't be liking this. Like I said, you pay attention to people's social media and it's very, very telling to know what's going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Um, the Kumbaya Enabler. And that's what Ashley was referring to herself as a kumbaya enabler. And so Vanessa is saying that this is what Ashley is pretty much. And Ashley was saying she was this. An enabler who misuses their faith or spirituality to police and micromanage survivors of narcissistic predators. They try it on force and encourage premature fake forgiveness, spiritual bypassing of emotions, shame survivors for any valid anger they feel, and, and prevent them from holding their abusers accountable. They dishonor the true victims of crimes in favor of loving the abuser and seeing the non-existent good in them. And then uh, she posted, Vanessa posted, lie and deny, lie and deny, lie and deny, lie and deny. A narcissist prayer that didn't happen, and if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, that's not a big deal. And if it is, that's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. If I did, you deserved it. Somebody's being shady. Somebody's being extra shady. Who do you think it is? I think it's Ashley and Dimitri. Okay, my final thoughts on the whole situation is I think Ashley and Dimitri need to get counseling before they need to try to find another sister wife. If they've already struck out with Vanessa, already struck out with Taylor, and already struck out with um, Chris and Lee, and they're all agreeing on the same things uh, about the Snowdens, I think that's very telling. And that says a lot about the Snowdens. You know, I was watching season two last night, and the fact that how pushy they are with the alkaline diet, especially when um, Vanessa wanted to continue to eat steak, and they're pretty, like, much not having it. Like, how much of yourself do you need to change to be acceptable for them? You know, you shouldn't have to change that much of yourself. Like, I don't know. I would never make someone do that. <laughs> like, we noticed that 90 Day Fiance, like, Natalie tried to push her health eating ways on Mike, and he just wasn't going for it. And, you know, if you can't love someone how they are when they present themselves to you when they first meet, when you first meet them, um, then, then why are you even messing with them? You know, you have to either love them how they are and accept all their flaws, or, I mean, you can try to change them, but it usually doesn't end up uh very good and obviously we saw what happened with vanessa and and i also think like you know tay i like i said i know taylor and christine have moved out because taylor wouldn't be agreeing with vanessa and liking that if she was still with the snowden because she would worry about the snowden seeing that you know you wouldn't want to be under the roof living with these people like my fiance somebody uh says something mean about my fiance i want to be liking that so and also but when I was watching season two last night, uh, Dimitri, they were asking, like, Dimitri about what he thought about Vanessa and stuff. And he's like, 
saying something about like trying to make it sound like it wasn't all like sexual like oh she's very beautiful but she's also smart and there's like i can't remember exactly what he said but he's like um you know and i gotta get my brain off just pulling her hair all the time and then he's like cut you guys remember that part he was like pulling her hair and it sounded like he was about to say you know like choking her or something else too but he stopped it when he caught himself and said cut and they didn't cut it out like he wanted them to so i don't i think this family is now it makes sense why were these kids always running to these women when these women got oh came over we saw it happen with vanessa we saw it happen with taylor we saw it happen with crystalline as soon as they walked in the door these kids threw themselves at the these women and maybe their homes are so toxic and they have to deal with all the bs between ash and dimitri that this is almost like their escape when somebody else comes over and that's why they throw themselves at them what do you guys think do you guys think kind of the same thing because i wouldn't want my kid getting that close with somebody that i don't know what's gonna happen if they're gonna be around long term i wouldn't want my kid like you know i don't know maybe it's just me but that's what i think I, and i just I, it made me uncomfortable seeing how much the kids threw themselves at the women and like it would make sense it would make a lot of sense that maybe their home life is so toxic i knew there was more to it and you know um the ex that was with the snowdens here let's go over some comments real quick while we're still on vanessa's thing let me bring it up real quick guys your girl might have me for my glasses i gotta put my glasses back on because your girl is blind as hell okay now let's just look at these comments we got the receipts get the receipts and the deleted tweets are we gonna ever hear your side of your story it sounds like you want to tell it maybe just a little bit they probably do their egg their lot they're living x before vanessa combs did a whole tell-all if anybody knows where i can find this tell-all that they're speaking of please let me know because I would love to find it and show share it on my channel and do a reaction to it. So if anybody knows the name of the ex and where I can find that video, if you guys can let me know in the comments, I would love you forever. We don't have to hear a side of the story to pretty much know what happened. Most people can see right through the Snowdens and the toxic toxicity. I know I can. And Vanessa Combs, you're recommended for being as kind and gracious and not blowing their ish up. They are exposing themselves all on their own. You know, and it's only a matter of time. You know, you can try to play a front in front of the cameras. But what's done in the dark is always going to come to light. Especially when you... They need to really fix themselves because do you guys really want another go to court again over what? some more allegations from another lady? Because obviously you struck out three times with three ladies who you moved in that was supposed to be a part of your family. And just, okay, you know it had to hurt those kids when when Vanessa left after they got so attached to her and threw themselves on. You know it had to hurt those kids when Crystalline left. And I had to break their heart again. And now they're getting their heart broke for a third time with Taylor leaving. My heart really goes out for those kids, you know, especially when these kids are, you know, I found out, I thought Ashley and Dimitri were married because they had the same last name. But after I watched the old seasons, I found out that they aren't legally married, you know. So I guess him and Ashley, you know, they refer to each other as husband and wife and they have the same last name, but they're not married. And so I thought Chris Lee was possibly married to them when she referred to him as her husband in the court papers. But really, you know, they just all refer to each other as husband and wife, even though they're not married. But I'm sure they had a ceremony like they did with Vanessa. Or maybe they're planning to have a ceremony soon. But it's just crazy. But you have these three kids, a kid attached to two new moms, well, three moms with Vanessa, and then she left, and then two more moms with Taylor. That's just like a double whammy. You're breaking the kid's heart not one time not two times but three times that's just got to be devastating it's almost like going through three whole divorces even though they weren't married you know what i'm saying what are your guys' thoughts on all that that's what i feel for the most in all this is these freaking kids
I don't believe a word they said this season. Where are so many red flags the season you're on? I felt you were very genuine and honest with you are. Then they try to change you in every way and some mold you to what they wanted. They didn't let you blossom into what you into who you could have been with them. You broke the mold they want and it didn't work because you didn't fit into it. I'm glad you didn't move it because there's an ugly mold. Be the best you, Vanessa. We love you for who you are. And that's what I think. Dimitri and Ashley have been together for 10 years. They have the same diet. They've already established who they are and decided all that. But, you know, Dimitri, I don't know if he had that diet before he was with Ashley. But they've had 10 years to build who they are. And it's like they want everybody to come into their life and be like little minions of them, like little mini-me's, like little clones of them and have the same diet, do the same things like dancing and all that, you know, be just, I think Dimitri's just trying to make all his wives into another version of Ashley. What do you guys think? He's just trying to have multiple Ashleys and make them exactly like Ashley. And he needs to let these girls be their own person. It's like Ashley and Dimitri get their panties on a bunch whenever any of these women want independence or like want to do anything outside the family. And that's just not cool at all. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching.